Selle Refresher, Kosh. Definition of Terms, Part 1. Instruction, Occupational Safety and Health. Specialized clothing or equipment designed to protect workers against safety and health hazards that may cause serious workplace injuries and illness. Example, protection for the body, eyes, head, face, hands, feet, ears, etc. C. Personal protective equipment. A set of rules issued by DOLE, which mandates the adoption and use of appropriate practices, means, methods, operations, or processes, and working conditions reasonably necessary to ensure safe and healthful employment. A. OSH standards. A regular and critical examination of project sites, safety programs, records, and management performance on program standards on safety and health conducted by the safety officer. D. Safety and Health Audit. A set of detailed rules to govern company policies, processes, and practices in all economic activities to conform with our standards, including the personnel responsible, and penalties for any violation thereof. B. Safety and Health Program. A body created within the workplace, tasked with the authority to plan, develop, and implement OH policies and programs, monitor and evaluate the OH program, and inspect and investigate all aspects of the work pertaining to the safety and health of workers. See Safety and Health Committee. Any person trained and duly certified or qualified to administer first aid by the Philippine National Red Cross or by any organization accredited by the same. Be certified first aider. A person or entity who is hired by the project owner to act in the owner's behalf concerning supervision and monitoring of all matters related to the overall execution of a construction project. He, she shall be a separated entity from the general constructor. C. Construction Project Manager. Otherwise known as the Labor Code of the Philippines, this policy issuance institutes consolidates labor and social laws to afford protection to labor, promote employment and human resources development, and ensure industrial peace based on social justice. A. Presidential Decree No. 442 This policy issuance defines and enumerates the implementing rules and regulations of the Act strengthening compliance with OSH standards. B. Dola Department Order No. 198, S. 2018. An act strengthening compliance with occupational safety and health OSH standards and providing penalties for violations thereof. D. Republic Act No. 11058. It refers to daily meeting among workers and their respective supervisors for the purpose of instruction, discussion and proper briefing on the planned work the assessment of past work, the possibility or actual occurrence of accidents at the site, tips and suggestions on how to prevent possible accidents and other related matters. D. 
Toolbox meeting. primary cause of accident that is characterized by the human action that departs from a standard or written job procedure or common practice, safety rules, regulations, or instructions. B. Unsafe Act A risk associated with poorly guarded or dangerous equipment and machinery that may cause injury. A. Safety hazard The physical or chemical property of a material, machine or the environment which could result in injury to a person, damage or destruction to property or other forms of losses. D. Unsafe condition A risk associated with exposure to dangerous substance or conditions that may cause illness, disease. C. Health hazard. An engineering control or set of personal protective equipment prevents you from falling like guardrails, covers, restraints, etc. A. Fall Protection System An engineering control or PPE set that protect you after you fall, which is characterized by stopping the fall before you hit the surface like net, mesh and or body harness. B. Fall Arrest System A qualified safety officer for or its equivalent duly certifies by DOLE to perform and or render consultative services on occupational safety and health in at least two fields of specialization, ask determined by DOLE. B. OSH Consultant A qualified first aider, nurse, dentist, or physician engaged by the employer to provide occupational health services in the establishment, project, site, or workplace. See OSH personnel. A qualified safety officer three or its equivalent duly certified by DULE to render occupational safety and health services in a defined and specific scope or core competency. D. OSH Practitioner This entity shall be solely responsible for the administration and enforcement of OSH laws, regulations and standards in all establishment and workplaces. B. Department of Labor and Employment, DOLA. This entity is responsible for the conduct of continuing studies and research to develop innovative methods, techniques, and approaches for dealing with occupational safety and health problems. B. Department of Labor and Employment, DOLA. This entity may collect reasonable fees for the inspection of steam boilers, pressure vessels and piping and electrical installations, the test and approval for safe use of materials, equipment and other safety devices, and the approval of plans such materials, equipment and devices. D. Dola Secretary This entity shall set and enforce mandatory occupational safety and health standards to eliminate or reduce occupational safety and health hazards in all workplaces. D. Dola Secretary This refers to any working surface above water or ground, temporary or permanent floor platform scaffold construction, or wherever workers are exposed to the possibility of false hazardous to life or limb. 
b unguarded surface 